Let's go over another document. This is called weekly slash monthly to-do list. Some people want to do some things for God, but they don't have any ideas. So here we go. Say at least 10 positive things about yourself each day. If there aren't 10, declare by faith 10 positive things about yourself, even if you don't see it. No, it is not lying. Explanation for number one. How isn't it lying? Have you ever called yourself negative things? After speaking it, didn't it seem to be more true? Much more true. Every time you speak negative, your words strengthen whatever you believe. So you can basically say that you shaped your reality, correct? Since you have the ability to shape your reality, how about you declare positive things over your life? Instead of calling yourself stupid, call yourself smart. Instead of calling yourself ugly, call yourself beautiful. Our words do shape us. Keep this in mind. Number two, chat with at least one person a week about anything that pertains to Christianity or God. Number three, get criticized by at least four people each month for talking about God. This is very powerful here. You will reach a lot of people. Explanation for number three, when you speak of God to people who don't believe in God, they will negatively criticize you. At least some of them will. The more people you talk with about God, rather, they criticize you or not, it will set off a chain reaction. What do I mean? When you tell people of God, rather they refuse to believe or not, the message will affect them. So if you decide to do this at your job, it may have the domino effect. One by one, people will start accepting God then they may affect their families as well. So by doing a little, the outcome is huge. Number four, do something for someone at least once a week. Number five, say positive words at least, hmm, say positive words to at least four depressed people a month. Number six, pray at least seven times a week Prayer is simply a conversation with God, to God. Time limit does not matter. Be sincere when you pray. Number seven, pray for at least seven other people per week. Praying for your enemies gives you bonus rewards. Tell God to bless them abundantly, which is true. Eight. Say kind things or compliment an individual. Do this at least once a week, the more the better. Number nine, listen to Christian music or music that praises God. Watch videos of people who teach slash preach about God. Do these things at least one to two hours a day, more if possible. One to two hours is the minimum. Number 10, give at least one dollar in offering slash tithes. If you want to go all out, give 10% of your earnings each month, along with an offering each month. If you don't have any money, give your church or any organization or an organization which supports God, your time. In this particular case, your time is the same as a monetary offering. Only if you don't have money, you may do this. You can also give your money in time to people as well. You may also give your time and do everything else as well. 11. If someone says something negative to you, declare positive things over them. Do this as much as possible. For example, enemy. You are stupid, a bum, a loser, and you will not result to nothing in life. You. Your curses has absolutely no effect on me. You are a positive person. Everything you do, you will succeed. God will bless you abundantly. Bless them with similar words like this. 
you can choose to walk away after you bless them with words. If you like, you can continue this procedure until they get frustrated and walk away. This isn't lying. You are blessing. Number 12. Give away items that you aren't using or have no need of. Give them to people who are in need. This will get you blessed, not only on earth, but in heaven as well. Get to reward it for something you have no use for. No time format for this suggestion. Suggestion. 13. If someone is trying to get into a heated argument with you, you know that the argument won't solve anything. Just sit there quietly until they finish. Don't say anything. Even if they want you to get involved in a silly argument, just look at them without saying anything. No one can argue with themselves. Eventually, they will close their mouth. Proven fact. Keep peace in your home and or atmosphere. Pray for them afterward. Number 14. Everything you own, speak positive words to it. Speak to your possessions as if they are actual people. Yes, sounds insane, but it is spiritual. Transition your mind from the natural to the spiritual realm. You will see a change soon. So I really hope you can understand this. God bless.